Welcome back everyone, Crimin Archer here. Time for some more Project Zomboid. So, my mouse cursor's back. Um, I was fiddling with it and it seems to be working right now. Uh, I'm not gonna say it's back permanently because... God knows, um... I don't actually know how I fixed it, so I probably didn't. It's probably a fluke that it worked this time. Um, but we're gonna go with it, so you get to see my mouse pointer. I started in the menus there because we were in the middle of fighting zombies really burning zombies down and so I didn't want to uh, didn't want to get us into too much trouble there so they're mostly on the other side of those fences now that's where they, they most of them ended up um, not fences trees those are trees mostly over there so we're gonna finish, take these two guys probably, and then we probably need to go home because it's getting late-ish. I'm coming back and check on the fire zombies tomorrow. After that's all done. Um, I don't like that this one zombie is coming towards me. Uh, fighting zombies that are on fire is very difficult. It's not difficult actually, it's just risky. <laughs> because they have a tendency to uh, spread fire everywhere when they go down. And that is bad. <laughs> it's a good way to get yourself lit on fire. Oh, my dog's barking. The FedEx guy's here. Alright, I'm back. <laughs> FedEx guy was here. Um... So what do we do here? I guess we just take these guys with us. As we very as we work our way home, they'll probably burn out before we get home. Let's get another slice of ham. If they don't burn out before we get home, then we'll have to deal with that. But um, that's what we're gonna try and do. It's getting a bit late. Another thing about uh, fire zombies, if you have not seen them before, is, is that their fire, once you get too far away from them, they sort of unload from the memory of the game, and then they don't uh, burn anymore. They just sort of stay in stasis. In fire stasis. Oh great, now those other two are on fire. Which means that... Alright, that one lost interest in us. Which means that a lot of those zombies that we had on fire before... Well, there's a decent chance they will just continue to be on fire when we come back the other way. So if we can get far enough they might just he might just lose interest in us. We'll go back and check on them later. I wanna go to that strip mall. Um that we, in theory, cleared all the zombies out from around because I would, I, I think there's a bookstore in there. Somebody told me. We'll see. But regardless, oh, we're getting some sprouts. Those are some young radishes instead of these, which are seedlings. Cool. All right, let's uh, let's just go to bed. I should just eat the rest of this ham here. <laughs> then we'll go to bed. Alright. I'm gonna run the time out a little bit because it's not quite late enough, but we don't really have anything to do. No book books or anything to read, then it's kind of wasted. There we go. Close enough, whatever. I'll be curious to see what the zombie situation is tomorrow. Alright. We should take this one out. We're clearing this place out of zombies, so... We're gonna do it. We should do it properly, right? Put our water bottle up over here. Alright. Corpse on the ground. There we go. Get our axe back out. Hmm. 
We should probably repair that before we move on. I don't have anything to repair with there. Uh, I need some duct tape. What is the best thing to repair it with right now? Wood glue. Wood glue's the best. I think I have some wood glue. Yes, I do. Pair axe wood glue. Boom. All right. What do we want to eat? Let's eat an orange. And this radish, because it looks like it's yeah, it's starting to go bad. Should probably drink this milk too, actually. <laughs> it's not gonna last much longer. Hmm. Alright, let's go check on go check on our burning friends. Hopefully they haven't gotten into too much trouble while we've been gone. Fire's about the only way to effectively get rid of a lot of zombies. All at once. Alright, so those two are still on fire. The zombie down here, that I assume is one of the fire brigade, did you actually get put out by something? Or did you just lose your fire? Game lose track of the fact that you were on fire? <laughs> That really wouldn't surprise me all that much. Those two will burn out soonish, I hope. But whatever. We'll deal with them on the way home if, if they're still there. Alright, so what's going on over here? This is the big question. Looking for anybody who's actually on. Alright, they're not on fire and they're not dead. <laughs> Alright. This is over here is where all the fire zombies went. Right? Looks like most of them are still back there burning. Okay. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. That the game unloads them. When you get out too far away, they get unloaded from the memory. And then they don't burn while you're gone. Oh, oh, another axe. And it's in really poor condition, but hey, it's an axe. Alright, so... I'm not going to worry about them too much for the moment. Because I have other fish to fry. We'll, however, hopefully not get into too much trouble here. Alright, fire zombie. You want to come join this 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 group here? Oh, never mind. I almost killed them all. Not as fast. I don't want that zombie to see. That's what I, that's what you have to watch out for. See how it threw that fire away when it landed. That's that happens. Alright, so those those dead bodies are no good to me now. Alright, so let's look around the back end here. There's a lot of zombies back there. <laughs> are you attracted by the fire, dude? You must have been attracted by the fire. In the mailbox? No. Through. Let's see what these are. Oh, this is actual. There are some places where the the things that look like clothing are in fact um, hardware. Mostly over in West Point, I guess, though. So I was just checking, just checking. Store boredom and stress tote bag. All right. Hey, this one's open. Ah, bookstore. Here we go. Carpentry for beginners is no good for me. Trapping for beginners, I'll take. Cooking for beginners. 
Fishing for Intermediates. Fishing for Intermediates is a useless book for me because I don't fish to begin with. And I really don't fish in this particular part of the game because there are no fish. There's like no water on this part of the map. Expert fishing. Cooking for intermediates I'll take. So nice little book collection here. Expert car I already took expert carpentry, didn't I? Yes I did. Expert cooking. I don't think I've ever made it to expert cooking levels, but you never know. Maybe we'll get lucky. Master trapping. Master farming. Master trapping. Bathroom. I think all those zombies that are banging on doors are banging on that door right there, by the way. So, you should... Yeah, be careful. Did we, did we get advanced carpeting? We did, okay. Alright. So that was good. That achieved the goal that I was hoping for. Probably not much of anything useful in here. But we'll check anyways. Some nails. Oh no, it's this one that they're banging on. Sandbag. I don't need that. Duct tape. I'll take the bucket. We can fill it with water. Oh, there they go. They just busted it open. This is also for sale. So yeah, there's nothing useful in there. That's just a store. Bunch of pop. And some chips. Chips. Alright, we'll fill Alright, chips. That is empty? Looks like it's basically empty. But it's open, so why not? Yeah. This is not a very nice... This poor neighborhood is uh, a little de depressed, it seems. We got in terms of food. Bag of chips, I guess. All right, let's um, let's equip our hunting knife. Clearly, the fire zombies have made it back behind the thing. All right, come here, guys. Who else wants a piece? Spread out in a nice, um, easy to work with line, please. One zombie at a time. There we go. Oh. I'll take those. I'll take them this way. <laughs> it's in the for sale place. Poor. Poor forest is gonna burn all down. What is this? Some sort of like cafeteria? Weird. Like lubies or something? Vitamins, I guess I'll take those. Well, I won't, because he, she, he didn't pick her up. I was going to take them, but he didn't pick them up, so we won't take them. Alright, this is... Apparently the power's gone out. So let's eat all of this as, soon, as quickly as we can. Just go into town. Because all of the, the power appears to have just gone out. Bad, that's bad. Corn is fresh. I know it's weird just loading up like this, but why not, you know? As long as he can still take it. Hey, we got, let's upgrade both of those and this. 
All right, nothing there. What have we got in terms of non-perishables? Oh, another hunting knife. Nice. Um, group secondary. That was something that I was not expecting to find here. Another one? Big fans of hunting knives at this store. Gas can. Uh-oh. All right, you three. Need a good stabbing? One, two, three. Gotcha. All right, so what's across the parking lot here? Uh, green grocer, which is probably not actually any use anymore. <laughs> it probably has been. Hmm, wonder if the back door is open. Back window is open. That's not a door. Should take that garbage bag. When we finally get to the point where we can store uh, store water. Oh, nice. It's gonna be a bunch of rotten food, though. Those are still good. I will take all the frozen food. You know, I don't think this is a this. I'm not gonna take that um, watermelon. It's not. It's too heavy. This is my first time with the uh, with the freezers, and I don't think I actually really used them properly. I mean, I should have put basically everything I didn't want to eat in the freezer, and just take it out one at a time as we needed it. That probably would have been the more appropriate way to use a freezer. That way when the power goes out, like it has now, or it apparently has now, we would be able to eat off of the frozen food for a while. I don't need any of that stuff. I see ya. Oh, these are still good. Frozen, nothing frozen. Just gonna stuff myself a little bit while we're here. Our nails. Yep, we're just gonna shove everything into our gut here. I can get to yep, very well fed, that's what I was looking for. Rotten grapes. This is all still good. Let's just take it with us. Did we ever, in this playthrough, have we ever come across the, the thing that lets me um, actually work with a, with a generator? I don't think we have. Which case, in which case the generator is not going to be that useful for us, but should go check anyways. Yeah, I know. Oh now, lady. Alright, we should head home. It's getting late. Let's see how the fire zombies are doing. I mean, they appear to be back in the woods. That's <laughs> where the hell they're doing. <laughs> Gotta burn the whole place down. All right, we're gonna eat really well for the next few days at least. Until the, uh, until all this food that we got goes rotten. All right, let's just walk over here real quick. I wanna check, see. I wonder if they were moving in parallel to me. Like following me basically, but through the woods. It seems to be the case. No, eh, whatever. They're all burnt out now. with those guys. Cool. Hello, sir. Oh, that was a bad one. Oh, 
those two are still on fire. He looks like he's getting ready to burn out, probably. Or not. Staying out here for a second. See if I can watch if they can burn out. Nope. Oh, Alright. I don't really want them to get over to the trees where they'll light it on fire and then we'll have a whole fire whole fire issue to deal with. <laughs> it's just not what I'm looking for. So let's just go home. So I assume the power's out. I don't know about the water. So we'll find out. Like the open sign's still on, even though it's not really. Yep, it's all it's all turned out now. All right, so we're gonna need to eat stuff up, melted ice cream. This ice cream's still fresh. All right, um, stop here for today, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much.